Hey. Woo. Hey, good morning. Hey, hundred. How are you doing this morning? I'll do a stretch on stream. Uh, uh, good stretch. Ooh, actually. Hmm. Interesting back feeling this morning, I think. Um, gosh. How are you doing today? I'd be stretching too. I know. Dude, I'd be stretching in the morning and be like, if I remember, man, like sometimes I'm like cranky and I'm like, why am I so cranky? And it turns out I just need some back stretches, you know? Um. Turn the music up just a hair. Hey, good morning, Jimmy. How's it going? We're talking about back stretching. It was good. I had a couple trolls show up. Um, but uh, we dealt with them slowly, eventually. By rage quitting. Because they weren't in chat. So I couldn't kick them. They, uh. I'm pretty sure they were in the same room together, and then they just started spamming the answer of the Holocaust. Which was really annoying. But, other than that, we were all good. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah, poor, poor Chippy, um, not poor Chippy, go Chippy go, um, rather, uh, it's not a mod, oh my gosh, thank you for the raid, hello Forsaken Fritos, welcome to probably the chillest, uh, uh, Sunday morning, uh, stream that you're going to find, um, oh, thanks you for the shout out, um, Frito stream gives us give us your pancakes. Ooh, uh, actually, I do have many pancakes, um, but they're they're in the refrigerator. I can make those later. You want to see some miniature pancakes that are microwaved? <laughs> Frito, how was your stream? What did you do? What's your what? How was your? What y'all do on stream? I'm gonna go check. You don't even have to tell me. I'm gonna go look. Hell divers. Nine hours ago, though. Uh, Hell divers with the homies. We killed all the buggies. That's awesome. Wow, this is this is a departure from Hell divers. So just, I appreciate you trusting me with your um, with your people. Um, just uh, for those who are here, you're. This is like a really good decompression place. <laughs> I just don't, I don't want y'all to be like, action factor! <laughs> um, you fought in a space, man. I, I want to play Helldivers. I hear it's really good. Yeah, we were on the grind. <laughs> I hope y'all had fun. Uh, we were just complaining about um... Something. What was I complaining about? Jimmy, what was I complaining about? <laughs> and then I'm gonna eat. So normally we do we do tea and I get a little stomach ache because I don't eat, so I'm gonna try drinking a protein shake real quick. We are obsessed. Lemons, am I right? I did hell divers last night. Was it fun? A lot of my friends, IRL friends, have been playing hell divers. I just just haven't. <laughs> Oh man, super good. I is it worth getting sick? Oops, sorry for the crinkle. I get I get motion sick, so if it, if it's worth getting sick, I'll play it. Chat. 
Chase me to extract. Ooh. Hit that American Eagle. Okay. Do we want to do tea first or work on the Marowak? Yeah, even, even with screen shake, I get really sick really fast. Just less fast. Um, I can play Minecraft for about an hour um, without being sick. And then it's and it's a very slow progression with Minecraft. Um, Quake in Unreal Tournament, I'm like insta sick. Because both of those games have you jumping around. I really. Oh, Jimmy! No! <laughs> Alright, let me set the timer. Um, here, let's just pin this real quick. Uh... <laughs> Jimmy, why? Timer! Five minutes. Uh, how am I supposed to run a leafy beverage channel when it keeps getting banned? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, um... My destroyer left for orbit and the emergency evacuation pulled out five seconds before you made it a womp womp. But hell divers never die, we're just going to the afterlife. Okay, cool. And super six is painful. I can update the... I was working on it, and it didn't work. I just updated the bot too, so maybe it broke. I'm gonna be pissed if the bot broke. Um... I'm restarting the bot. I got... Okay, so, uh, 100, I'm very proud of you. I have no clue what those words are, but I'm so glad you got the 45 supers. Good job. I feel like a parent. Good job. Good job. Just ordered a McDonald's breakfast. Ooh, that sounds good. What'd you get? I like their, um... No, yeah, the update broke my stuff. I am upset. My automations! My beautiful automations are broken! Time to get this done, and now it's broken. All right, so that's up. Cover my forest. I drank this this morning. Do you drink this during the week? Um, I um, uh... English breakfast. Oh, okay. Well, I'm glad you're getting into it. I drink. <sighs> Where's the timer? Where did I put it? I've got a minute and 30 seconds left. So, yes, I do have this sort of thing throughout the week. Uh, sometimes I will post it on my Instagram. Ugh! 
I just... A little bit. A little bit, hundred. I've, I've got preferences. I'm more of a coffee guy. No, no, no. Actually, we're good. We're good with coffee. Coffee's delicious. I drink coffee on Saturdays. Like that. If you check, if you get one of my Saturday streams, I'm drinking, I'm drinking coffee. If you can do this stuff or shitty metal, all metal, would you keep it if you could only keep one? I mean, metal is literally the support structure of. Uh, I almost got, you almost got me. It's literally the support structure of all of the world. So I, I would have to like forsake my beverage. Oh! Oh! Music! Um, ooh! Ah! Oh, the timer's up! I made it! I made it! It's the first time I made it all the way through, and Jimmy almost got me this time. Almost. Ah! It's been- it's been- it's been months! It's been months! Okay, so, I don't know if I would do tier or metal music. Alright, so we're drinking a 2015... Cloud Force Gone Me Bing. Bing is just like tea cake. Hey, Breggage, thanks for the lurk. Um, this is a white tea. And um, a Bing is just a bunch of leaves pressed together. Um, and then someone broke it apart, put it in this bag. Um, this white tea's got a lot of brand, like little um, stems in it, which means it's going to be pretty sweet. Um, they say the uh, older the tea gets, it becomes like medicine. So this should be really good tea with um, a lot of good um, tea in it. Uh, do I want more tea leaf? The other thing that so we're using my micro guy want today, and I don't know if I want. It's it's hard to measure how much tea is in here because it's so tiny, especially with. Like, I have an easier time with, um, oolong. But. Alright, so the recommendation is 210 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'll need to turn up my water kettle. Now you're gonna hear some beeping. And my country accent comes out a little bit for some goddamn reason. Alright, there we go. It was just for the ban. I know. You you're you're normally able to get me with that, but luckily I misunderstood. <laughs> luckily I misunderstood what you were saying. Um for those who don't know, Jimmy does not like metal and has discovered that I am very touchy on the subject of metal music. Okay. And it is not good. Just a smidge. <laughs> I, w I would say I'm pretty touchy. Alright, let me see if we can get the Marowak to, to hang out with y'all. There we go. Not really, you're just more passionate about it. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. Um... Jesus, not even my Pokemon is showing up. Did the Jigglypuff actually return as a Jigglypuff? No! I regret updating! Pokemon automation too. So sad. 
All right, so we're gonna do the first rinse. So for HT, and this is a very HT, you, um, you uh, your first steeping is a, is a rinse, ideally. I need to figure out how to turn the beeping off on the kettle. But, um, it's to get all the, the, the tea prepared and soak so the first next uh, drink is good. It's been a while since we've used the mini guy one on the stream. Alright, so here's the first rinse. Ooh. Oh yeah. Where is he? Who's my tea pet? So this is a little frog. I haven't named him yet. I keep his name changes every stream. So far frog has been the most stable name, which is really generic. He's a little chunky boy. He's about to get a bath. <laughs> Nearly all of my teas come from West China Tea. He looks like a Rupert. Um, you know what? Let's name him Rupert. He might not stay with Rupert today or tomorrow, next week, when I remember to think about a name, but. We are going to call him Rupert. I dig it. I dig it. Oh, you don't have to cry about it, Rupert. <laughs> Are y'all enjoying the more synthwave vibes this morning? We normally do like a lo-fi coffee shop sort of feel, but I thought synthwaves might be a good way to mix it up today. <laughs> today frog name Rupert. Yes! I like it. <laughs> That's a good pin. That's super fun. I'm why am I so excited about this? <laughs> ah. uh, let's see. Got some paper here. I'm gonna fold up. Playing Cyberpunk for the first time, so a synth is perfect. Ooh, I played it when it came out. I wanna. I hear there's a lot. Been a lot of uh. Quality of life updates um, since I played it. Wow, it's been a couple years since Cyberpunk came out. Alright, so let's uh, give our tea a smell. Yeah, still very sweet. Hmm. Let me think of some more adjectives here. It smells like white tea. <laughs> smells like really good white tea. I think... I've had... Um... I think the oldest tea that I've had is maybe about 15 years. Oh yeah, this is good. This has a lot of... teaness to it. Very strong. White tea definitely has a 
is more mellow of a tea, in my opinion, and I really like that. But this particular white tea has, has a, a really good mouthfeel to it, and a very, very strong flavor. I regret drinking. Uh, trying to drink a protein shake before drinking tea. Let me sip some water. Yeah, this is only the second steep. For, for a white tea, this is gorgeous. Gorgeous tea. Yeah, normally I've got better adjectives. I just don't have any of them. This tea is just really good. Um... It's got like the air of sweetness, but the like the smell, the aroma of sweetness, but the taste isn't that sweet, but it's not bitter at all. Um, Try tea flowers. Um, I did a long time ago, and I really like them. Um, at least for the visual effect. I actually have got a um, um, clear um, teapot that I like. That when I'm if I'm hosting stuff over at my house, I'll use the clear teapot. But I do have to say they they uh, the ones that I got looked better than they tasted. Um, they didn't taste bad, but they looked really cool. Um, and it was definitely more of a... like a visual thing. Mm. I'm gonna warm up my water real quick. That was my next question. <laughs> um, I do have what West China Tea calls Dragon Balls, and some of them do include flowers in them, like chrysanthemum. Um, and those are really good, but they don't bloom. They're just, someone took the tea and the flowers and smushed them together in a ball. Um, however, they last forever, like, I can drink one of those for at least three hours. Um, and I've done that on stream. <laughs> it was a lot. That was a very, uh, very strong tea. Um. All right, so I'm going to, I'm going to read off the, uh, the description for y'all. And then y'all are gonna be annoyed by the beeping noise of the kettle in a second. Oh shit! That was fast. Alright. So, very sweet, complex, extra fancy, Late spring cake of aged white tea is the description of this tea. They say white tea goes one year, one year tea, three years medicine, seven years treasure. As the time of this writing, this cake of Gong Mei grade fu funding white tea is nine years old, makes it a fully matured by white tea standards. Okay. Yeah, and this is mostly leaves, so it's, um, like, the grade of tea, of white tea this is. Um, this beautiful aged tea is abundant and, fa and famous honey fragrance. That's true. This very honey fragrant. Uh, characterized in aged white tea along with fruity notes, ranging from dates to grape skins and figs. 
The earthy body of wet fallen leaves in autumn. A small focus group determined this tea was a warm light clove, watery, watery like the vet vetir v e t i v e r, and smooth like vanilla, while not actually tasting or smelling like any of those things. That's yeah, that's accurate. It doesn't. It's got a very sweet fragrance. Um. But it doesn't necessarily taste super sweet. But it isn't very enjoyable. Ah, look at this color. Y'all are gonna be so distracted by this tea that I won't be able to get to this Marowak. <laughs> Yeah, it, it it smells really close to honey, actually. It doesn't taste like honey, though. It tastes like... It tastes like a really Welsh, a very strong white tea with a beautiful color. Ah. Isn't that right, Rupert? <laughs> I love the frog name, Rupert. Oh, that makes me so happy, actually. <laughs> we need smell o vision Yes! I wish I could, um... Tell you... Like, I wish I could, like, let y'all smell this. That it's good. So we did this part. Rubies to all- rub- rubits? Rub- rubes to all of his friends? I don't know why I couldn't say that. Goodness. Okay. Okay, so this is definitely the hand that's holding the bone. Okay. Do you always do Chinese tea? Um, no, we do mostly Chinese tea. Um, I have a subscription service. So it makes it a little bit easier to do. Um, and I'm a more adjacent to the community for Chinese tea than I am anything else. Um, I do enjoy a lot of anime, but I don't know about too much about uh, Japanese tea culture um, as a whole. I would be I would be interested in learning. about other other tea stuff um like i know sincha is really popular in in japan but i but how they drink it and stuff is a little different i think than chinese tea um so it feels like almost a totally different thing to me but i don't i don't know um I grew up with traditional Japanese tea ceremonies. Did you? Does coffee count on the stream? We always support people who drink coffee. That we are a caffeine pro, pro caffeine, um, channel here. Um, hey, if, uh, Mr. Vader Dead, if you want to tell me more about how, how to get into Japanese tea ceremonies, I am all here for it. Uh, Mohawk Mayhem. Hey, how's it going? How was the rest of your stream last night? Or this... Yesterday. 
It was yesterday. I read it out to you yesterday. <laughs> I don't know why I feel like it was last night. Jesus. It went super well, thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad it went well. It seemed like you were having a ton of fun. Oh, here we go. This is about my favorite part of, of the steep. It's like when we get to the, like, the middle of it. Ah, super good. Super good. Ah, uh, the game I just played had a big reset. Does it? Did it? What game were you playing? Was it Helder? Did I... Or something? Dark and darker. Okay, okay, yeah, 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 that's what it was. It looked really interesting. Um... You should look into it. It's actually a very big thing over there. Prepare tea for someone who has a lot of meeting. Yeah, I would be interested. Um, I know it's a little bit more... From my understanding, Japanese tea ceremonies are a little bit more... formal and actually ceremonious than Chinese tea ceremonies. Which I find a little bit more intimidating. Okay, my backpack is pointed exactly where the nozzle of my kettle is. Let me move that because I have definitely poured water on the floor before. And I do not need... Uh, <laughs> Having that hot water, hot water poured on my backpack. <laughs> Alright, it has been moved. It is a moment. It is a moment. It seems really interesting. I'm always impressed with how green matcha is. Let's see if we can do a big pour. Woo! Like. That color, like that matcha color, is really close to like my favorite. Like, I green is my favorite color. This color of green is really nice that the Rupert is sitting in. Um, OG Tubbleware green, like mint green, but not quite like strong mint green, is uh, so good. I love that color of mint green. Real green tea is so light, but so much flavor. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I know there's like different grades, right? Um, at least attach, attach the ankle or the arm part to the hand. Uh, like I know like there's culinary, culinary grade and like ceremony grade or something. I don't, I don't know if there's like an actual term for those, those are just what I've seen in English, and I don't know if those are regulated at all. Okay, how are we... this together? Thumb goes up. Oop, oop, oop. There's like every day up to special occasion. Okay. And I imagine that the like the ceremony changes a little bit based off of the occasion too. Uh, 
Ah, tea is good. I love tea. Depending on who and why you're doing it for. Yeah, I know um, Japan's got a lot of, like, honorific, so I imagine that the tea ceremony uh, relates pretty well to the honorifics, yeah? There you go, Froggy. You can have the rest of the bottom leaves. There's a romantic version and a respectful version. Ooh, that sounds fun. Don't oversteep your teeth. I'm gonna show you all these leaves real quick. Is it gotten? Um... Oh, let me see if I can get my hand out of the way. Good morning, Wolf and Fox. Uh, it's a little dark with the lighting set, but gorgeous tea. How's it going, Wolf and Fox? We are talking about Japanese tea ceremonies, and Hundred was trying to bait me with solo leveling, which I haven't seen yet. Um, by the way, I've read the webtoon, though. Oh, that's interesting. So if you do it for a significant other, it has a little bit more meaning than, um... The way you do it for a boss. Oh my gosh! Subscribe for seven months. Holy shit, dude. Thank you for being a long time subscriber. Wow, seven months. It doesn't feel like that's been that long. Since you've started hanging out on my channel, you know. Uh, much like you were saying, ceremony and respect. Okay, that makes sense. That's interesting, though. There's a little bit more steps for uh, a significant other. Alright, so we're gonna... These together, and I'm gonna go on the inside with this toothpick. Apply pressure to the bits. To the bits! Yeah, steps, steps on steps. There's a specific way to pour, wipe the cup, and set utensils. Yeah, that sounds really intimidating. I mean, I guess once you've learned it, it could probably be very meditative. It just uh, sounds like at first to do a, a Japanese tea ceremony, it's a little... I guess you'd have to have a decent amount of people who knew what they were doing to teach you and to be a little patient with you. Means time spent together. That's true, too. That's one thing I enjoy drinking tea. Even uh, Chinese tea is you uh, spend a lot of time with the people you're hanging out with, you know? 
um, when I get the chance to go to a good tea house, being able to sit at the same table as someone else and, and uh, talk to them is one of my favorite things. We're gonna need to heat up the water. Yeah, maybe maybe I'll look into it. I it would be afraid to mess it up on a stream though. Too like I wouldn't. I think I would need to bring like a guest on who knows what they're doing to teach me. Maybe on stream. Um. I feel Chinese tea is uh, more about the tea itself. As Japanese is, that is accurate for Chinese tea. Um, Chinese tea is very focused on maximizing the flavor of tea. Um, he 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 he. Let's see if we can pick up the lid. No, I cannot. Red is paper. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I feel like that's pretty accurate. No BB. Uh, there's also a huge variation in Chinese tea. Uh, so, like, grandpa style is one way. And not everyone in China drinks their tea gongfu cha sort of stuff it's it's definitely a tea culture for that um but like some areas like um ooh, an electro cross um some areas like will salt their tea um some have different like what politeness gestures or whatever Oh no, Tinker, you don't have a trainer pass. Nice. Alright, now do now do poke catch. There you go. Welcome back. Um, you miss me. I know you almost didn't get it in time. You still might not. You can still miss Pokemon. So one well, Fox, you missed. I got the little little arm touch to the hand now. For the Marowak. Um, I cannot use it to lift up things. It is paper. I tried. Um, I don't know. What else did Wolf and Fox miss? Hey, we both got the electric cross. It's gonna bug me to no end that my, my robot's not working. Grats, thank you, thank you. Right, so we're gonna cut out the hand. No. This tube. I think this connects to the shoulder of the... There we go. Merrick's got a little hat now. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your tea. Have a great stream. Gotta run, but I'll be back. Thank you for popping in. I super appreciate it. And thank you for talking to me about Chinese... Uh, sorry, Japanese tea ceremonies. There's so much that I don't know. And I love learning. Y'all, we've been working on this Marowak for a good amount of time. I wasn't expecting it to take so long. But it definitely has.
And sorry I missed, uh, the stream, uh, last Sunday. I just, I really needed to sleep in. Actually, I still needed to sleep in after that. I got home Friday and I was like, I conked out hard, um, That sounds so interesting. The different tea ceremonies and their meaning. Right? It was! And the um, Vader Dad, Mr. Vader Dad, sir, was talking about um, how, like, in Japanese tea ceremonies, um, the ceremony is a little different based off of who you are and who you're serving for. Like, apparently, there's a different ceremony for, like, your, like, your significant other versus, like, your boss. Which sounds fascinating. This tea is still given. It's given warm tea juice. And in different temples and groups. Wow, yep, I had no clue about that. Yeah, there's so much about Japanese tea ceremonies I have no... I'm not, I'm not familiar with. And I know it's very ceremonious versus Chinese tea. Um, I have been introduced to Gongfu Cha in person. Um... So, it's a little bit easier for me to understand it, and I've been kind of in the, the microcosm of culture for that, but, but not for Japanese tea. Um, so it's like, totally different world. Now, if y'all wanted to do some American tea culture, um, maybe one day we'll do a uh, southern style sweet tea. Um, <laughs> But that takes a while to brew, depending on how you're doing it. And, uh, it would be... Texas version? Um... Because there's also, like... Like, some people actually brew their tea out in the sun, because it gets so warm that they do, they do like, sun-brewed tea. They'll leave, like, a big pitcher out. Of, like, Lipton tea. Um, and then put ice in it. American tea culture tea ha. Um, Sohan of of uh, Wish China Tea. Um, every now and then he'll go uh, uh, ni howdy. You know, like ni like like hello in, in Chinese, like ni howdy. Howdy, y'all. I love it. Um... I think also, um... There is a that no one calls this a tea culture, but it's basically fruit tea or herbal tea. It's just, it's just not dried ingredients. Um, but there is agua fresca, which is fruit water, and it is extremely sweet. And in my opinion, it might as well be tea because it's not real tea. There's no real tea in it, but we also call herbal tea herbal tea. So... Um, I think, I think it should count. I think, I think it should be in the, in the tea derivative. Though it's always sort of cold, never warm. So maybe not? I don't know. Here in Canada, we have iced tea, British style tea, and Indian cha tea. Cha, chai tea. I love chai tea. 
The amount of spices they put in chai tea is amazing. I used to have a lot of Indian co-workers and um, anytime they go visit India they bring back snacks. <laughs> it was good. Apparently there are two types of oil. I know I've had Thai tea and for some reason it tastes really similar to chai tea to me. The way that a lot of the people make it, but there's two types. Alright, go ahead. Tell me, tell me about the two types. I tried buying it at times, but totally different than the other. At Timmy's. Like Tim Hortons? Y'all call- yeah, y'all call Tim Hortons Timmy's, right? Do you know what a double-double is? Like, if I order a coffee, double-double, do you know what that is? My local caffeine dealer just got new chai, a chai source. That sounds amazing. Okay, no one in the US knows what a double-double is. Like, at least not in my part of the US. I went to Canada, I was like, I would like want two creams and two sugars, and the lady at Tim Hortons was like, you mean a double-double? I was like, yes. Yes. Yes, please. That's great. And then you try to order that in, in Texas, and everyone's like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I'm so glad that wasn't just a microcosm of whatever part of Canada I was in at the time. That makes me feel a lot better. Um, Alright, so Tangers, tell me about your new chai source. And your local caffeine dealer. We are we are um, pro caffeination here. So Chinese tea, I don't think people really talk about the caffeine content all that much, other than being like if you're sensitive to it. However, uh, people will talk about becoming um, tea drunk. Uh, which is an interesting concept. to attach this to the body first, or do I want to fold it? I'm leaning towards folding it first. Ooh, Peruvian coffee, that sounds good. I think we're gonna fold it. Happy pea berry medium roast. I don't know what that is. Peach peach berry? Pea pea berry? I've never heard of that before. Uh Wolf and Fox, they're talking about coffee. Coffee. Lots of flavor and low acid. Ooh. I'm gonna have to try that out. Mm. 
trying to figure out how this folds together. I make misala chai, milk, cardamom, sugar, garlic. Garlic! I do my coffee weirdly. Wait, okay, so is your masala chai how you make coffee? Oh, you put masala chai in your coffee? That is interesting. So Tinkers, is your coffee like a low, hold on, a light roast? Do they light roast that bean? <laughs> I don't know if I want to put garlic in my coffee. I don't have the deets on the chai, but I'll ask next time I'm in. Okay, cool. It's a light medium roast. Okay. I don't like dark roasts. First of all, if your goal of drinking coffee is to get caffeinated, light roasts have the most caffeine. So anyone who drinks dark roasts because it tastes more coffee is just being a weird person. Ooh, I do have a. I'm always surprised when I like drop an opinion, and I and I realize that's an opinion of mine. Like I'm like, of course, this is normal. <laughs> My goal of drinking coffee is to intimidate. You know what I find intimidating are the people who don't drink coffee, and they're like, oh yeah, I don't need caffeine, and they go for a run at like 5 a.m. in the morning, and like that's their this that, that's their routine. Those people are intimidating. They're like, oh, I'm just naturally awake and energetic, and I can, if I know, if I want to do something in the morning, I just do it. I don't. I only know, I know one person who's like that, and I absolutely believe that they're like that, but I also don't believe they, um, they don't have underlying issues that they're not tackling. <laughs> Cause I know a fact. For a fact, I'm pretty sure they got an ulcer recently from not taking care of their mental health. <laughs> those people are liars. Yep. I'm like, I don't know how how those people function. I'm like, leave me alone. I'm like an old Windows XP computer. It takes me forever to start up. Like... <laughs> Crazy people. Oh man, I wish... I'm gonna complain about it every time that, um... That my automation isn't there. Dead. The Pokemon's supposed to pop up on screen, but my streamer bot's just not working. Oh, you caught it. I did not catch it. Does anyone know how to battle in like the Pokemon community game? I have no clue. I don't even know how to set my party. Like there's there's like a way to battle if you scroll down if you're on desktop and it's like go battle some Pokemon into a league or whatever. And I'm like, okay, this sounds fun. It's like you don't have enough Pokemon in your party anyways. Um, what is that Pokemon? I think it's a ghost type. No, it's a psychic type. Here, I'll show y'all. It's this guy. Wow, there's a guy about a fan art. I'm curious. Let's go look at the fan art. I like fan art. Well, an astronaut found him. Here's some fun fan art of Pokemon. Is that a Mimikyu mimicking one of these guys? Alternate evolutions. 
Okay. Why? Why are we wearing a skirt? Why are we- why are- why is this- I understand Gardevoir. Why is- I think I need to get off the internet. <laughs> Like, I was like, oh, this is cute. Maybe. And then, and then it just devolves into this. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I, I'm, okay. This is fine. We're fine. I'm going to go back to making this, this, the thing that I'm doing. And not having an existential crisis about Pokemon again. Hey, thanks for the bits! How's it going? Tiny Tay? Rule 34 is alive and well, clearly. Oh my god. I'm just, I'm just gonna hang out over here having an existential life crisis. Um. <laughs> I mean, at least, okay, this is, if Vaporeon makes more sense, maybe, than that. Like, at least Vaporeon's, like, fleshy? I don't know why I'm arguing for this. Uh... Alright, let me see where the... Alright, that gets join. Okay, OMG, so you have to go in the Discord and you can see your de decks and select it. Oh, okay. I need to drop a link for their Discord if you find it. <laughs> I would have never guessed that. All right, so I think I made this part harder on myself than than needed because I did not do. Thank you, tankers. Uh, am I already okay? No, I didn't accept their invite. Oh, I'm human, maybe. Stupid captures. Okay. All right. Appreciate it. I was so confused. I was like, how am I supposed to do this? I'm just going to collect Pokemon, I guess. Alright, so... This goes at attaches to the shoulder. Yeah, I'm just going to yellow this piece. I know, I know this is going to go at the bottom. Yeah, we're just going to yellow it. Alright. T for yellow. We're gonna drink some more tea. So, Tiny Tay, your first time chatter, and the first chat you do is to do, to drop some biddies. Um. Well, I appreciate you joining us today. Um. I hope you're doing well. You see. I'm in a good time on the Saturday. Nope, it's Sunday. Ooh, I got some work travel coming up on Monday. It's only two days, so I'm flying out, staying the night, and going back home. I might push out my flight. Um, there's a... I'm going to Atlanta, and there's this guy it's named Sifu Wayne, and he runs a tea house. Maybe I can schedule a, um... Um... Some time at his table. Why, why I am there. That'd be pretty cool.
He was a pretty good conversation. Alright, so I think I'm gonna friction fit these in. There we go. Alright, and we know the joint is at the bottom, so I'm gonna do do it like that. And then we can just pull that up when we know the positioning. Here, I'll show you all. So I stuck the cuff around here, and so we can just rotate it until we decide on which side this edge needs to be on. And then we can just pull it up a little bit and it will stay. Try to make sure that it's correct from the hand. Ah, uh, tea is good. Ah, my candy kit! So, um, uh, you know, I said I was gonna take my meds today. I did not take my meds today, so I will, you know, y'all get to be me all over the place. Alright, anyways. I have a Japanese candy kit set with me today that we're going to be trying out. Um, we have not done this one yet. But it's got a lot of stuff going on that will be interesting. So I think once we are out of the tea that we are drinking, we will make some candy kit and then we'll switch to the other tea that I have, which is a Phoenix Oolong tea called Thunderstruck. <sighs> Mmm, sounds delicious. I agree. I'm super excited for it. Um, definitely my favorite teas are oolong teas, for sure. Second place goes to white tea. I feel like oolong teas just have such a wide variety of flavors. Um, you know, they're super good. Alright, so I'm going to start. There's actually a little tab that I didn't glue that's on this little piece that we're going to glue right now. So this is the Pop and Cook Insets, the Toshi Bento. And it's got broccoli that tastes like grapes. A rice ball that tastes like soda, spaghetti that tastes like grapes, egg roll that tastes like lemon, a sausage that tastes like strawberries, and then a panda rice ball, and then fried chicken that tastes like orange. I'm probably not going to like that. Because I am not a fan of artificial orange. Why can't they taste the way they're supposed to? Um, because it's candy. Oh dude, this this isn't bad. It's only 110 calories for this whole ass box. Nice. This is why society- yes, the reason why society is collapsing is definitely, um, Definitely because of candy that tastes like other things. <laughs> Good job, you solved it. Alright, so we're gonna put the glue on these tabs that are on the inside very carefully. I'm gonna try to lean forward so y'all can kind of see what I'm doing. Alright. 
I saw someone make cinnamon hearts out of those red plastic cups. Oh! Uh, Neil Red, right? I love Neil Red. He cannot make, um, cookies. Have you ever seen his video where he fails to make cookies? He tries to, like, make what he calls ultra pure cookie by buying all the ingredients off of, like, chemistry websites, and, and then he makes, like, the worst tasting cookie ever. He can, like, follow advanced protocols, but anytime he does any sort of, like, food-related, uh, science or whatever, he's like, that isn't making one thing from, like, unhinged, a non-unhinged food-related science. He just can't cook. <laughs> yeah, he can make super complex chemicals, but he can't and can do advanced- yes. Though he's made- I wouldn't say flawlessly, he, d he does make mistakes. Alright, so now we've got an arm. Alright, we're gonna give him a ch um, Marowak a hand. We just need to glue it on very carefully. I did recently see uh, Nighthawk in the Light um, channel, if you like chemistry, uh, makes uh, opals, like artificial opal. It was pretty cool. Um, oh, and I really like his video on uh, Senko Hunabi, which is a, a firework. Um, super love that. You saw that too? Um, yeah, so him, Thought Emporium, um... Brutassium is pretty okay. Brutassium does a lot more conceptual sort of stuff. Um, practical engineering? I love practical engineering so much. Um, super good. Oh, I think one of them just retired. Which one retired? From like YouTube? I'm gonna be very upset. I'm already upset. I don't even know which one just retired, and I'm upset. <laughs> yeah, Veritasium is awesome. Them and Mark Rober. I like Mark Rober. He makes his stuff very easy to digest. Alright, I think I'm gonna glue the front tab first. Uh, technology connections is really good. Oh, I know Adam Ragusia keeps having problems. that I find really interesting. Am I doing this right?
Like, Adam Ragusea just said that he was, like, retiring or whatever. Um, kind of. Um, I don't know, that was a very interesting YouTube video. He was like... I think he's been struggling with mental health. Oh, Tom Scott, yeah. In Game Theory. Game Theory put out their last, uh... Last Game Theory. Or at least not their last one, but, um... Matt Pat made his last one. I can't... I don't blame him, though. Just, yeah, they put out the new one recently. I haven't watched it yet, because it... I think it's a theory on a game I don't play. Been pretty bad in my area. I'm so sorry. Um, I think that's partially why I've been having sleeping problems. Tom Scott hurt. Yeah, I. I really enjoy his content, but he. I don't think he's gonna go away totally. I think he just needs a really long break, and then he'll probably do some other content. Right? Like I think that's what he was talking about. Doing, from what I recall. I know Markiplier's tired. Like, he just released the video that said he was like, I'm tired. Man, YouTube, I think... I think some of the... Some of COVID's hitting YouTube. Um, I think a lot more people are tired after COVID, and I think we're seeing it. I, th I think this might be somewhat related. Yeah, but he's also doing a movie. I know he's doing a movie. It's true. And movies take a lot of time, and he's, like, directly involved in that movie. Like, I think he's a lot of that creative... creative aspect of the movie. But yeah, Burnham is definitely real. Um... And really, really rough. It takes years to recover from. Like, even when the situation of the burnout is gone, the burnout itself takes a long time to recover from. See, I'm not surprised between COVID and YouTube guidelines and demonetization, the climate crisis, the chaos of the world, trying to keep that energy. Yeah, I don't know. It's really, I feel like it could be really easy to like be okay until you're not. But it's also, I think, giving yourself grace to not be okay is really hard, too. And allowing yourself to be okay so you can spend more- be not okay so you can spend more time being okay can be really hard. Especially when you're, like, a high outputting individual. Like, a lot of people measure themselves by, like, their job. Like, the first thing people ask is, what do you do for a living? As, like, a conversation started, right? Um... So uh, a lot of your identity gets wrapped up in that too, and I think that's really hard on people who don't, especially for like, 
I'm gonna use the word gig, gig economy here, but that's not quite right. Um, but where your income is project based or individually output based, that could be really hard to deal with because you're. The unsample ads kind of are for sure affecting my number of viewing numbers. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, I I actually don't have to deal with that, but I've got YouTube Premium. I get the premium. So has it been ad? Has it been bad? I guess it has been. We need a new starter that asks more, who are you? What do you like? What passions and careers do you- Yeah, see? I agree. Like, like, it literally, I feel like everyone already has, like, a script for what do you do for a living? So it makes it a little bit easier. But I would I would love to know what your passions are. Um, meaning people. Um, I also feel like a lot of people keep those hidden. So I work with a lot of boomer age people. And I'm finding out that they're... Like, I... And hella nerdy, uh, which well, no duh, but like, it's kind of like my personality type is nerd, and it's something that I've kind of like publicized. Um, a lot of the boomer age people don't publicize that, um, but I found out that a lot of them are extremely nerdy. They're just nerdy about different things, and they don't super talk about it that way. Um, Or, like, I, I don't know why they don't. Let's see, I think the whole job question is trying to find someone's passions and interests. Yeah. And, I mean, you do spend a lot of time at jobs, right? Like, you spend, like, a huge chunk of your life working. Eh, I don't know. At one point, you you are a lot of, about your job is what you do with your time. So, okay, I get it. But another... Eh. Eh, I don't know. It's complicated. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> I was talking to someone the other day who was working at Timmy's and they wanted to become a mitochondria. A mycologist? Ooh, what's a mycologist? Is it someone who studies mushrooms? That's awesome. I had a similar conversation at Starbucks where the person was working at Starbucks to fund their passion for taking care and raising horses. Um, having said that, it was in the middle of nowhere. But it was pretty cool. I do woodworking to earn money, but my real path is being a field natu naturalist. Ah, oh, that's cool. Oh, that explains why we were able to, when you first joined, we talked too much, so much about um, plants. Because you were, we were talking about like edible plants and stuff, and you were very knowledgeable about your area. Um, and I had no clue. Um, and I only know stuff about my areas because I've done free walks with, with naturalists that uh, some of the local plant and wildlife reservations do. I'm not, like, I like it. It's just not, not super novel. It's so hard. There's so much to it. But that's so cool. There's, like, different rankings for naturalists, too, and how you could be, like, a master naturalist and stuff. Super cool. I'm only, I'm only loosely aware um, of that. There's like a whole, whole world of, of that. It's crazy. It's like a whole plant iceberg. <laughs> All right, so I think the arm is nicely stuck to our Marowak, so check that out.
And that's his bone holding arm. I liked before we glued the bottom of the chin that we could use like his mouth like a puppet, but it was pretty fun. Let's see, if I could get paid studying plants and animals, spending time outdoors, I would jump on that in a heartbeat. That'd be fun. Especially if you're into that sort of stuff. Dude, I keep seeing TikToks of people who are like on Firewatch and they spend months and months just at like a fire tower watching for fires and stuff. That sounds like either a really, really awesome job or not an awesome job. I haven't decided which. <sighs> Looks good, thank you. All right, so I think it is time for the snacks. We have a show here called Red Green, and one of the characters was one of those. That sounds interesting. I've been up in one of those towers. It's really cool. See, that sounds really fun, though. Like, on one half of the time, just chilling, enjoying nature, just being on the lookout for fire, sounds really good. On the other half, I really like internet and not having internet is stressful because I'll try to think of something and I like Googling. Like, okay, maybe if I had access to Wikipedia, like I download all of Wikipedia, maybe I'll be okay. All right, Mr. Mr. Rupert's got some leaves for a hat. Fortunately, now they have satellite internet. You know what? That would work. Satellite internet would work for my porpoises. Alright, so normally this takes up a decent amount of space, so we're gonna... We used to have a de device that let us have internet in the middle of nowhere. I couldn't resist playing Firewatch while on Firewatch. Then we get into my head and freak me out. Um, I haven't played Firewatch yet. I've got a board game. I bought the board game called Fire Tower. But I'm excited to play. Maybe I'll play it Monday. If everyone's out for it. Though the last game that we played- No, we didn't finish the last game we played. Did we? Tanker, did we finish the last game we played? Um, I thought about being in a store and wanted this to be kind of scary. Yeah, I could see that. Probably be a very religious experience in that moment. <laughs> Let me clear up my tea that I have to do manually because my automation's not working. I'm salty AF. We did the first scenario, so it's okay. Time to break something else. Okay. Well, I don't know. We can figure it out. The first scenario was fun. That was a fun game. Alright, so... This has, like, a little, little plate that I guess we can use to...
safe, uh, not a safety knife. This, there's, there's nothing safe about this knife, actually. Craft knife. I am sorry for all the crinkly noises. My apologies. Alright, I'm gonna cut out the decorative plate, and it looks like there's, for some reason, a cutout for the panda in, on the back and stuff, so be a little patient with me. You can't even hear them? Excellent. Stabbing knife. Whoa. Dude, these came in like a three pack. They've been so useful. I'm glad I bought them. Stabbing knife. I wonder what this packaging actually is. It gives me, like, Mylar vibes. Alright, so now we've got our cute little, little bento display. I'm gonna go ahead and cut out these because... They've got dotted lines around them, and somebody tells me that I'm gonna have to cut them out. Or... No, I'm just gonna cut them out. No. I'm just gonna cut out this page, because I've got to- it might be like, shape it to these shapes. Use the back of the paper, because these, uh, these have done that before. Where it's like, use the use the wrapper to measure off the size of the rice that you want to make. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Alright, so we've got... A lot of packets. Seaweed candy powder. Broccoli candy powder. That is a sentence. Fried chicken candy powder. Spaghetti candy powder. Sausage and egg roll candy powder. And this is probably rice. Yeah, rice ball candy powder. Alright, so I want to cut the triangle off because this triangle piece is the measurement. And then this is probably for the spaghetti. And here is the little mixing fork. Alright, so here is our tray. Make, first instruction, make broccoli. Add a full triangle cup of water to section one and powder from the green packet. Mix, it will become firm in three minutes. Okay, we can do that. So, got my cup of water. Here is the broccoli. All right, Mr. Rupert, let's make some candy broccoli, I guess. And come on, get a full triangle. There we go. All right, add the triangle to the one shape. So I've been thinking about what to name my audience, like Taylor Swift's got Swifties, 
What about Gertie's Herdy? Like herd? Like a Gerd herd? The Gerd herd. Kind of like Gerd herd. Especially since, um, Shoopy keeps calling- and Salt uh, keeps calling me Gerdy- Gerds. I like it. Sounds like the nerd herd from Chuck. What's Chuck? Jimmy Patty likes it. Nerdy herdy. <laughs> Gerd is a condition by acid free fly. I know it is! <laughs> I know it is! It makes it worse when, when, when Shoopy's like, hey, Gerds! <laughs> Oh, this poor dad blue? This looks blue. Oh, and it's turning slightly green. Hold on, let me see if we can show y'all. Can y'all see it? The broccoli looks blue! I bet it's gonna turn green in a little bit. Gertie's herdies. Yeah, there it goes. Now it's turning green. I- I'm- I'm here for any other name. If we can get away from Gerd, I'm- I'm good. I just- I don't think I'm gonna be able to get away from that because every time I jump into a chat... Salty Dalty, like, hey Gerds. It's same with Shoopy. I think Shoopy's starting to do- and Parody's doing it too! Ah, uh, I gotta mix this up before it gets firm. It's already getting firm on me. It smells sweet. Alright, I'm gonna kind of like stab down the sides a little bit so we get a easier time trying to get this out of the mold later. The GERD group. That sounds like a really shitty consulting group. Like, someone's last name accidentally was Gerd, and um, they, were, they didn't realize what they were doing when they made that name, and then, like, now you've got, like, some, like, consulting firm, or, like, like law firm, or investment firm. Here at the Gerd group, we care about our clients. <laughs> We will extract um, value for our, I don't know. All right, so the blo the broccoli, the broccoli is in the mold. Something to do with tea? That'd be cool. I think tea works. It's a lot of my channel's identities um, tea based. <clears throat> Make an egg roll. Add a full triangle cup of water to section two. Add power powder from the yellow packet. Mix. It will become firm in three minutes. Hmm. Yep, that one's two. Okay, I had to double check. <laughs> Gertie Herdies, Gertie Groupies. <laughs> You're literally, I think, the only one who does Gong Fu Tra on Twitch. Um, there's another lady that does it, but I haven't seen her stream in a long time. Wait, was it triangle of water first? I think it was triangle of water first. Yes, it was triangle of water first.
And I know I do Gertie Maniacs. Ooh, yeah, because we do have Gertie Mania. Is a is an emoji that's probably my most used emoji. Where did I put the trash from? Okay, over there. All right. Now we put the egg egg powder with the egg. Yeah, gritty mania. This really does smell lemony. Hmm. Mixing this in this tray though with this texture is really hard. It's got like, it's ribbed for her pleasure at the bottom. A wild gibble has appeared. That is a dragon Pokemon, I think. All right, let me see if I can get this evened out. Doing some little tappies. Stab in the side of the wall so it doesn't like super stick to that side, to the walls. All right, the egg has been egged. You are Gertie Hurdy, sole Twitch master of the Gong Fu Cha, wilder the secret emoji speaker of the language of tea. That sounds really epic. Could have like a voiceover, someone do a voiceover, like pay for a cameo of someone saying. That'd be pretty badass. Make sausage. Add a full triangle cup of water and add it from the red packet. Nice, good job. We got the Pokemon. <laughs> Eee, Teen Hedgehog. All right, sausage candy powder. Again, quite the sentence. This is a nice red color. I'm gonna have to be a little quick with this one too, because it's got like little octopus legs. I wanna make sure that the mixed section of this gets into the octopus legs. There we go. All right, so now you can see the sausage, the egg, and the broccoli. Next up, make the onigiri rice ball. Add two triangle cups of water to section four. Add powder from the blue pack. Mix until thick. Divide rice in half. Form a ball. I knew it. It's like, use this. 
I knew it. I knew it. Add powder from the black packet to the hollow spaces of the panda face in small square. Add any remaining spill powder to the round section. Okay. So I'm gonna go, no, we need to mix first and then we'll do the black powder one. Shout out to Swifties. Yeah, I, you know, I don't know who can be angry at Taylor's, like, like Swifties for liking Taylor Swift. Like it's, okay, no, hold on. Two triangles of water first. I can follow instructions, I swear. One triangle. And the tech for the Eris tour is super cool. Um, with how they got the, the LEDs to match, uh, the lights that everyone gets um, on such a huge scale and doing it at, um, um, at, on different venues and stuff and having to map that out is crazy. Um, I can be angry about in your, anything if you give me enough Adderall. Uh, maybe, maybe you shouldn't take that amount of Adderall. <laughs> if it makes you angry, you should, you should not take medicine that negatively impacts your life. I have the two triangle things, right? Real counting? Okay, I think we're okay. I do this with like bread too, or dough, where you add just a little water, but like the first stage you're like, um. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe I didn't add enough, I don't know. And then you go back and you add more water or liquid and you're like, oh, this was too much. This was too much liquid. Yeah, this really smells like ramen. -y. The Gong Fu Gang? Ooh, Gong Fu Gang's cool. I might just need to put up a poll on Discord or something. So we got Gong Fu Gang, Gertie Maniacs. Gertie's, Ger Gertie, Herdies, Gertie, G Groupies, which is hilarious because it implies that everyone's got acid reflux. Um. Gertie's Herdy, or the Gert Herd, which is also not very nice. Um, the Gung Fu Gang sounds pretty cool. the Gertie Maniacs, because I don't, I don't want to, like, insult anyone. Unless y'all like being insulted. Uh, we can do that. Maybe I should make an, a redeem where you, where it's like, insult me, where I insult whoever redeemed it. That, that no, actually, I just, uh... Uh, just saying, drink enough tea and you will also- I do have it, thank you very much. Huh. Learn something new every day. 
I hear you have to cut down on like hot sauce and stuff if you have that sort of thing. All right, I think the rice ball, the rice is mixed up fairly well. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> YOLO. We are making a pop and cookie kit, which always takes longer than um, anticipated, but that's okay. So I'm gonna flatten it out so I can divide it this, this in half. And then we're gonna start working on the, the, the shaping of the rice ball. That's about half. <laughs> Yellow. Posture check. Ooh, good posture check. Um, I forgot about these kits. I used to watch people. Yeah, they are fun. I like doing them. Um, I think I used to watch a good amount of people do these. Um when I had a job that made me wait around for hours and I had access to YouTube. All right, so we're gonna shape this one like this onigiri. Hats off to you, ooh, a hat. Um, I'm gonna go with my yokai hat. Definitely my favorite hat. The Menzi, I know! OMG! Oh, look, it's like a reunion. Oh, friendship. Okay, this is like a weird. A weird triangle shape, but we're going with it. All right, now let's see if we can do the panda. Looks like three balls. I'm gonna kind of pinch off. That was a little too much. Okay. Oh. I like, I like what's happening, like... I'm, I'm just sitting here reading y'all talking about, like, reconnecting and stuff a little bit. Like, I'm like, ooh. Ooh. I'm here for this. Putting the ooh, I maybe want to make this a little moist. Get some water glue, water glue going here for this panda ear. Oh, my hands are gonna be so sticky. After we're done eating this, I'm gonna have to go wash my hands. So we're gonna take this fork and kind of, kind of press this a little bit more and see if we can get these ears connected. I feel like a sculptor, but it's hard to sculpt things that are have elasticity to them. This, this material just like wants to bounce back at you. Or be right back at you. Okay, not terrible. Sticky hands. All right, so the next part is add the seaweed powder. I add in an extra tea and powder for some reason, but that's okay. 
played loosey goosey with her tea. I mean, not normally. Oh, they're like little sprinkles. Okay, all right, cool, cool, cool. Too bad, cinnamon buns are stiff. Uh, I do like cinnamon buns. Oh, from like Skyrim? I love cinnamon. Pro, cinnamon, anything. Isn't there like a sticky buns? Like you take a lot, like in Skyrim, you take a lot of sticky buns. A wild Joltik has appeared. I've never played Skyrim. Uh, in Canada, there's a brand of cinnamon buns called Sticky Fingers. I think they're by some. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think we have those. Or maybe we do, and I just um, am totally not paying attention to things. Have you seen Shaolin Soccer? I want the buns they make. No, I have not. Shaolin Soccer. Shaolin, I'm looking this up. Images. Oh my god, I want to watch this, an uh, this movie so bad now. This looks amazing. Buns. Buns. Let me see if I can find the buns. Oh, they're Toro buns. They're Toro buns. They can come steam or fried, but fresh hot steam and dip in sweet and condensed milk is heavenly. I found a, a Reddit. Or ube. Yeah, ube. That's what these are, probably. Did you drink tea yet? Yeah, we did. So we're taking a, a small pause. Um, goodness. And I went down a rabbit hole of what the fuck this was. Okay. So we're making a snack, and then we're going to be our next tea. That, oh, so, so, okay, hold on. Our first tea was a nine-year-old white tea that was really good. Very good energy. And then our next tea is going to be this Phoenix Oolong Thunderstruck. Um, Alright, so what am I doing? Alright, so now we're going to squish... the shape onto the thing. Oh, this is cute. Look at that. Look at that cute little onigiri. What made me get into tea? I feel like not a lot of Americans like drinking tea. Um, so I always like southern style sweet tea. Um, but uh, I had a friend who, while I was in Austin, Texas, which is where I get my, my tea from, introduced me to a tea. Oh, I got an ad. Okay, I'll wait. Okay, now add over. All right. So to answer your question, I um, was visiting with a friend in Austin, Texas, and they took me to a tea house, um, which is actually still where I get my tea from, called West China Tea, and I really liked it. The vibes were really good. The people were nice, and just the 
I don't know, the socialization of it was super good, and the tea was fantastic. Um, but it's been, I've enjoyed tea, like, gung fu stocks, trial tea ever since then. I, OMG, I watch them on YouTube, I'd love to go there. Yeah, they're actually, um, about to move locations soon, too. Alright, so I've got the face done, I need to get the ears. I'm trying to figure out how I want to do that. I think I want to sprinkle... Where do I put the pa Okay, here we go. Um, because the I-35 or 45 project's about to come through town, and they're about to have to move. Because they're getting imminent domain, but it's actually probably really good for them. Their parking lot's really bad. Alright, here is... A panda. Yeah, so what's happening is they're building, they're extending um, a highway. The highway's called I-45. And, um, I mean, that's it. They're extending the highway. And um, West China Tea is right on that highway. Um, like, like you can throw, if you're, if you're in the parking lot of West China Tea, you could throw a rock at the highway. Um, very, very close. Um... All right, now we need to make fried chicken. Um, so what's happening is, yes, they have to move. Um, but they're getting some money from, they're getting money to move though. So okay, the part of the funding for the highway project, which they don't need a bigger highway. A lot of a lot of people in Austin are pushing against it, but a part of the um, funding for the highway is um, paying people for the land that they are um, taking. So West China Tea is able to is is about to move to a better location if they find one. Their current location has a very limited parking. It's very loud, um, and it's built in a old house. Um, so hopefully the new location will be better. Alright, make fried chicken. So they're, I, I expect they're gonna have some disruption to their, their supply chain a little bit, um, because of this. But, you know, it, it should be better. Yeah, it'd be cool. Um, I like them. So Han's, so Han's really nice. Um, everyone who serves tea, they're super nice. I've, I've never had a bad time uh, going. It can be a little awkward at first, because it's like, I don't know. It's new, and I don't go there very often, um, so I'm definitely like a like an internet person and less of an IRL person for them. Um, but yeah, dream job, yeah, that would be cool to serve tea all day. Heck yeah. I actually, I think I would get sick. <laughs> Um, we get sick fast. Uh, let's see. Add a full triangle cup of water to section four. Add powder from the back. Um, uh, brown packet. Okay. I'd probably get an upset stomach. I don't know if I can handle that much so socialization either. I think I'd rather work behind the scenes. Um, I am really good at being extroverted as far as like I'm gonna talk to people and I don't have a problem with that, but I'm an introvert in the way that I do not get energy from hanging out with people. I enjoy hanging out with people. It feels refreshing and fun, but um, I don't get energy from it like true extroverts do.
I do get dopamine. Like, I'm very happy to hang out. Like, it makes me... Ugh, yep, this is orange. I totally understand what you mean as an introvert. Yep. Like, I don't have social anxiety. I just, I don't know, people wear me out. But not like in a bad way, like in a, I'm okay with this way. The mafia is orange, the sub has gone on hedge. Yeah, apparently the, the, the fried chicken flavor is orange. Thank goodness we don't count as people. <laughs> Tinker, you don't get weird when I'm, like, out of social battery. Uh. <laughs> right? Like, there's there's definitely, like, safe people where you can- where you can be around people and not have to worry about, like, maintaining a, a particular face or tone the whole time. Uh, people give me strength, but they have ADHD, so they're usually rude to me, and the rudeness wears me out. Dude, mood. Alright. Let's bite it in half. Alright, so we got our fried chicken, which is orange-flavored. jacket. So here is our fried chicken. Ah, it does kind of look like fried chicken. Alright. Oh no, we're gonna leave that there. It's like... Popcorn chicken, almost. Alright, let's see. I used to make your social anxiety as a teen. It got so bad I couldn't even order food at restaurants or ask. Ooh, that's rough. I don't know how, would, how, you, how you would deal with that. How'd you get out of that? Like, how do you overcome that? Yeah, I know what you mean. Having to focus on your posture, face, and hand movement, voice, tone, everything. Yes, that's hard. Like. <laughs> yep. I can do it. I just, I just exhaust it. Once I went to college and I didn't have my parents there to order, ask me, and it just forced me to do it. Oh, okay, so you just had to, like, like, just do it. That's hard to do. Like, that way, if someone's, like, asking you how to improve, they're gonna, you're gonna be like, just do it. And that's, that's hard. Um, alright, so let's make some spaghetti. Uh, two cups of water to section four. So that's where we just made our... Our fried chicken at. shriveled up in social situations. Got so bad one time as a teen, my dad asked me to ask the librarian for some change and I couldn't do it. I was sobbing and having a panic. Oof. That's rough. It's okay. Um, what's the silliest thing you'll have ever cried over? Oh, this is easy. Um, ooh. Well, it depends on how young we count. So, um, there's a clip on YouTube called Kiwi um, that makes me tear up, especially when it's, like, the time of the month, like, actually, as an adult. Yeah, it's Kiwi. Um, like, I can tell, like... It's like my, my litmus test. Is Am I going to be getting my uh, my cycle soon? Alright, let's watch Kiwi and see if I cry. Like, ugh. 
Um, I don't, I don't cry that often though. Crying over nothing, just like crying out of the blue. That sounds both frustrating and cathartic at the same time. Um, I couldn't remember where I put the cheese packet for the thingy for my mac and cheese one day. This was last year. Oh, see that's- see that's disappointing. I can see what crying for that. Like you had such high expectations for your mac and cheese and then... They weren't there anymore. Someone stole my Clifford the Big Red Dog Eraser I got from the Slack in older school. Still traumatized. Anytime I see sweet stuff, romantic stuff, or people going there to help animals, it makes me cry. Ah, oh, yeah. Sometimes a really good moment will just kind of just make you want to tear up. I know as a kid, one of the times that sticks out to me when I just, like, was sobbing was I was angry and I broke, like, a wooden dowel off of a chair. Um, it didn't totally stop it, the chair from functioning, but I felt so bad. Ah, thanks for the hydrate! Cheers! But, um, I felt so bad for breaking the chair. Like, I was basically personifying the chair. I was like, oh, this poor chair. And I was so disappointed in myself for having such big feelings. I broke something. And I was like, maybe eight. I was, I was unconsolable. <laughs> Saw a documentary the other day who reforced the giant chair. Yes! Oh, have you seen the, um, the... The Desert Project? The... Oh my gosh, what is that desert? This, not the Savannah. The... Um, it's the really big desert in um, Africa. They're working on creating a barrier so it doesn't... so that desert doesn't spread. Um, because it's been spread. Um, and it's working. It's the Sahara, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, uh, they're using native... a mixture of different native techniques and getting locals to help them out in a... Um, in a good way. Um, alright, let's see. Okay, I need to move away from this crying combo because this combo- Oh, okay. I'm sorry. Um, also happy St. Patrick's Day to who- Oh, when's St. Patrick's Day? Is it today? Am I fucking this up? Am I wearing green on accident? Oh, I'm wearing green on accident? Nice! I just randomly selected the shirt. It worked out. Heck yeah. Who's this noob with calendars? I just haven't looked. Man, if I'm not at work, I don't look at calendars. Or if I'm not trying to plan something. I thought it was on purpose. Yeah, I know. I totally didn't... Um... Totally didn't know. Alright. Squeeze the corner of the mixture. Alright, so we're gonna... Plop out our spaghetti on this plate, I guess, which is a weird thing to do, but alright, we're following the instructions. Did you see the- they do a shamrock- I saw on the menu for McDonald's recently, they had like a shamrock shake with, um... Yeah, that's dang there. Um... With Oreos? Uh, this is gonna be some thick spaghetti. This is more like...
something else that isn't spaghetti. I don't know what else this is, but... Okay. Um... It's nice to celebrate all the patties. I agree, Jimmy. It is good to celebrate all the patties. What is St. Patrick's Day about anyways? Snakes and Ireland. Oh, okay. Alright, so now we're gonna try to roll out the egg. So we're supposed to roll it out like a rolled egg. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. And I'm gonna ignore the weird poop that's supposed to be... Ooh. Oh, that is firm. All right. Let's see if we got this. Come on. I mean, maybe I can fold it? Definitely doing a better job folding this thing out than I am rolling it out. All right, here is our egg. next to our well-sized uh, I'm gonna move this onto the box so I can lift this up to the camera closer Whoop. <laughs> our spaghetti is hella thick um uh, same uh, day of a lot for Boston. You are natives. Pretend they are Irish a bit. Drinking. LOL America. St. Patrick's was the saint that brought Christianity to Ireland. Oh, that is sad. Yeah, I agree. St. Patrick yeeted the snakes from Ireland. That's also sad. I don't think that's true. They probably just didn't have any. I will St. Patrick's Day in Dublin's amazing. I have Irish heritage too. I knew you were Irish, Jimmy. Just posing as a Brit. So a guy came, forced everyone to adopt his religion, dehomed millions of skates, <laughs> and sent it to the nest. Why are we celebrating? Um, I'm pretty sure he didn't actually eat all the snakes out. Right? Like... Alright, so here's our broccoli. I'm excited for the sausage one. It's supposed to be like a hot dog that's in the shape of a... Of an octopus, which is really big in bento boxes for kids, I think. Yeah! Look at that wiggle guy! Oh, it's got like a little face you can't see. Look at that jiggle. My money don't jiggle jiggle, it folds. Alright! We are finished. We've got broccoli, fried chicken. Who would put all this together as food, though? Like, these do not go together as meals. Yeah, the pan, it's cute. I really like the, the, the rice parts. And they're all jiggly. All of these are jiggly. National Geographic says snakes never existed on the Emerald Isle. Research suggests snakes never occupied the country in the first place. I knew it! One of the few places they can't be found in the wild. Where else can snakes not find, be found? When I was in Ireland, they told us they didn't know about St. Patrick's Day for a long time, but completely approved. It's way bigger in the U.S. I believe that. Antarctica. Mars. Mars doesn't count. That's not on Earth. Try again. Antarctica makes sense. I wonder if they're in Iceland. All right, which one of these am I trying first? Chat picks. First person to answer chooses. 
Panda boy. All right, chosen. All right, here is our panda. <laughs> That's supposed to be spaghetti. <laughs> I know, I, cu I cut the hole too big. It's supposed to be spaghetti. Hmm, the panda tastes good. I think the spaghetti is supposed to be strawberry. And the panda is supposed to taste like soda, like ramenade, like Japanese ramenade. It's pretty. Let's say it's fettuccine. Help me! <laughs> I just believe that St. Patrick arrived in Ireland for this date, and most people believed in pagan gods. However, most people soon changed. Mm. Yeah, we can say it's fettuccine. Whatever makes y'all sleep better at night. I just badly made made spaghetti. It's supposed to be strawberry. All right, which one's next? First one in chat. Who types it out? Picks what I eat next. The meatballs. Ugh, orange. Okay. It's supposed to be fried chicken. Red chicken bits. Yep. It's orange. That sounds familiar. Um, we're listening to Chill Synth 8. Uh, FM lo-fi synthwave radio for retro dreaming. I'll post the channel on uh, the YouTube channel and Twitch real quick. Dude, okay, so I don't like artificial orange anything. That was very artificial orange. It was okay, I guess. All right, next one. Select your food. Sushi. Um. So the rice bowl, this thing? Yeah, okay. It's like the same flavor as the panda, same stuff. Rice ball. I wonder what that's just made out of. Onigiri! Yep! Alright, we got... Pasta, egg, sausage, jelly boy. Also, everyone was a pagan. It just means not a Christian religion. Alright, so jelly boy. We're gonna go with our... I'm gonna see if you can actually see the face. <laughs> Come on. I'll take a photo. Oh, it's so slippery. I'm so slippery and sweet. Oh, it doesn't photo well. Okay, whatever. That's pretty good. Hmm, 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 hmm. All right, I'm I'm choosing the next one. We're doing it. We're doing the pasta. <laughs> Yay, turds! That's the most sweet of all of them so far. Um. <laughs> it tastes the best. That's horrible. <laughs> Maybe the rice one tastes best. Cheese looking boy. Alright, so this is supposed to be egg. So I think it's supposed to be like rolled egg. So let me see if I can roll it. 
with my hands because it wasn't working with the fork. And I think this is supposed to be lemon flavor. Hurdy, hurdy, turdy. Oh my god, dude. Oh, we're at the lemon, which not bad. And then here's the broccoli. It's supposed to be grape flavored. Mmm. Okay. I think my favorite is panda, pasta, broccoli. Yeah. In that order. That was fun. Okay, the spaghetti was supposed to be grape as well. Okay, so the spaghetti was supposed to be purple grape and the broccoli was green grape. Oh, far-fetched. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Thanks for the call out. Appreciate it. Woo, come on. Zoom back in. Ooh. I've got software for this camera. Wow, look how deep how 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 far this zooms in. There we go. All right, let's clean up a little bit and then we'll go move on to our next team. Yeah, did you miss it? It was a little, a little squiggly guy. These are the little fun kits. And I feel like I have eaten a decent amount of sugar. That wasn't too terrible to clean up. I just need to kind of wipe everything down. So I've got powder in places. Much of a, a big of a mess this time around. Normally we make a really big mess. But we did pretty good today, y'all. Pretty good. Yeah, dude. Standing up originally. I don't know if y'all could see that.
How's that? Got some good views. Nice shirt, thank you. Hell yeah. It was free. I got it at an event for free. Free shit is the best. Alright, I'm gonna be right back. Uh, I'm gonna go wash I'm gonna go wash my hands and get some more water for the kettle. And then we're gonna do our Phoenix. Long tea. Let me actually set that why I am um, thinking about it. No! Marowak! Come back here, dude. Okay, well. Let's do. There we go. All right, I'll be right back. And we're back. And we've got some more water that we are setting to boil. Um, and got some new tea to go for, and we're gonna keep working on this marowak. Hmm, 
smells good. Let's take a look at Thunderstruck. Oh yeah, very oolong. Much oolong, very tea. What's this? Um, we are drinking Thunderstruck Phoenix Oolong Tea, and if you hear any weird noises in the background, that is the kettle heating up. I'm trying to figure out how much I want to put in here. And we've got an arm for the Marowak, which I'm super happy about. He is unbalanced. Well, maybe. 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 No. Yes. Yes! There we go. Yeah, that's probably good. Let's, uh, let's take a look at what our... Oolong is, so let me pull up the info. Um... Ooh, so this one's cool. Oh, they've got their travel set on sale right now? Okay, nope, I will not buy tea crap. I mean, it's not crap. I will not buy tea stuff. I do not need it. I'm fine. I can drink tea with the, what, the stuff I have. I don't need to buy more stuff. That's not something I need to do right now. Okay. Goodness, this is taking a hot moment to eat up. Alright, so Thunderstruck tea... Um, or Li Gong Dao, struck by Li Gong, the Chinese god of thunder. According to local legends, this phoenix oolong, originally an eight immortals plant, was struck by lightning nearly a hundred years ago. While half of the plant died, the other half remained but altered uh, key. And has since been cloned many times over. Our version is a tea from the second and third generation clones. This dimmy sweet fragrance of this tea, similar to that of kettle corn, translates into the fuller sweetness and in the after fragrance. A slightly buttery savior in the in mouthfeel. Hints of toffee, brewed apricot, and grape. While the flavor profile is recognizably similar to the Eight Immortals, this uh, key is far more clarifying and crowned centric can also be electric and unpredictable. Hmm. Noise. Alright, so water's still heating up, so we're gonna start working on the other hand, I think. I just said we're gonna start working on the other hand, and then the water heats up. So we have to start drinking some more tea. steeping hot shit fuck damn and then I poured water on my floor once again all right so this recommends a steep for one to three seconds I like to do the first steep a little bit longer not too much longer oh this is a much more red color than the um, white tea that we were drinking Okay. Welcome back. We just uh, 
are working on our first steep of our Thunderstruck Phoenix Oolong. Which, legend says the first tree got struck by lightning, and half of it died and half of it stayed alive. Um, and we are smelling the first steeping. Hmm. Hugo Rupert. Yeah, let's see if we can get this onyx. Um, I'm I'm a pretty big fan. Um, a Pokemon. I'm probably a bigger fan than your average bear, but I'm not like, um. Like, one of the people that knows, like, everything about Pokemon. I haven't played Legends Arceus yet. I need to, because, um, I've been trying to beat the DLC for, um, Violet and Scarlet, and it's horrible. Violet and Scarlet's horrible. But I'm told... Sorry for the beeping, y'all. I'm told that um, Legend Arceus feels exactly like um, Pal World, and I do enjoy Pal World, so I'm gonna have to try Legends Arceus. Why is it horrible? I couldn't finish Fallout. The okay, so the storyline is fine, right? It's the it's the mechanics. It's unpolished. It feels so glitchy. The just I just can't. I just can't. Alright, so I think I'm under... I don't have enough tea leaves in here, but that's okay. Um, like, it feels, it feels like a chore to play that game. Um, like, it's easier to climb on mountains in, in Violet and Scarlet than it is in um, a game like Breath of the Wild. But Breath of the Wild is fun, and and climbing those mountains is fun. But in, in Scarlet and Violet, it's not fun, despite it being easier. Like uh, you, you're you're able to go at a certain speed, but if you go too fast, everyone just like glitches out. I can't stand it. Zangus, ooh, um, I like either Gengar or Hone Edge. In the whole Hone Edge lot. Um, Senesti is really good too. Mm, okay. This is a really good oolong. I, um, it's got an interesting flavor profile. Are the tree teas you're drinking caffeinated? Um, yes. Um, kind of. The oh, every tea that is. See, see, I told you, salty Dalty calls me Gerds. Hi, salty. <laughs> um. Every, every, since we, the, if it's real tea, if it's tea that's made out of a tea plant, um, it's, it's caffeinated. Yeah, or girdle. <laughs> we were, we were talking about what we should name, uh, Hurdy Gurdy fans, or Gurdy Hurdy fans, um, and we're, we're thinking about, like, the Gerd Herd. Um. Girdles. <laughs> but now every, every, uh... It's, I think Girdles is my location name in, uh, the Minecraft server. But now every, every tea that's got real tea in it has caffeine in it. 
as a rule of thumb. Um, typically, uh, Chinese tea doesn't, they don't really drink it for caffeine. Um, in the way that, like, Americans think of caf caffeine a lot of times as a means to, the, uh, ends to a means, like, to try to wake up or whatever. Um, the culture around Chinese tea is a little different. Uh, so they talk more about the the tea energy um, a lot. Um, so like older teas might have more tea energy or like the plant, the specific tree the tea comes from will have a certain amount of tea energy. Um, but it's not, I don't think what they're talking about is caffeine. I think it's, it's just like the vibe of the tea. It's like, this has, this has vibes. The tea has vibes. Um, and they talk a lot about, like, tea being a medicine. So, like, um, a lot of people will be like, oh, you got a stomach ache? Drink some pure. Drink some pure tea. Oh, you've got indigestion? Drink some pure tea. From my understanding. Not Chinese. <laughs> um, they have a much better mindset than us. Um, I guess so. Um, it just depends on what... I think it's different. As far as tea goes, I think it's a more... I enjoy the, how mindful it is more than anything else. Um, who knows? Got p tummy problems? Drink some oolong. I know in Peruvian culture we also drink tea for health. Yeah. Yeah, so I know they do in, in Chinese tea as well. I don't know what tea goes with what solution. Um, it's really interesting because I've got some American, my American co-workers have been getting into tea recently, but they're all blended tea, so it's like a little bit of tea and a whole lot of like dried persimmons, and they're like, oh, this is good for immunity health. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I believe you. And they're like, Alex, what other stuff is good for your health, do you know? And I'm like, I I don't, because I don't drink tea that way. But it's really, it's interesting how a lot of people will drink tea for health benefits, but the way that they do so is a little bit different. It's interesting. And it's it's so hard, too, because the coworkers are like, Alex knows a lot about tea, because she says she drinks a lot of tea a lot, so she must know about this, and, and like the... The type of tea is so different that it's like, it's it's just, oh, you know how to ride a motorcycle. You must know a lot about mountain biking. Um, not really. Yeah, I drink it for the flavor. Um, I drink it for the mindfulness of it um, and the enjoyment of it, too. Um... Uh, drinking Chinese tea is going on a journey because the way you steep your leaves multiple times, every steeping is slightly different. Um, and you can tinker with it too. So I can tinker with how I like tinkering with stuff. Um, so you can tinker with how, um, how long you steep your tea for, how much tea you put in your gaiwan, how hot your water is, what kind of water you're using. Some people put salt in their tea. That's rare in certain locations in China that do that. I've done it a couple of times and it's 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 very different. Um, uh, it's just, you know, just different. Some people do it what they call a grandpa style, um, which is like way different than normal, way different than gakbu cha. So you, you take like a giant glass of water um, I don't know which way. We're gonna go. We're gonna go face cam. They do a giant glass of water and they put like this much green tea in it. You can only do it with a couple of specific teas and then you just drink off the top and you keep adding water into it throughout the day. Um, I don't know. Anyways, hi Salty. Hey, thanks for the bits. All right, so, all right, there, there's my tea, my tea, the, the tea about the tea. 
there's so much to it that I can't, I, like, I'm constantly learning. Um, and it's not just, like, Chinese tea. Like, there's so much about, like, Peruvian tea, for example, or, or Japanese culture that we talked about. It's crazy. Salty, have you been in the Minecraft server lately? I haven't been all week. I've been busy. Every time I've gotten home, if I wasn't doing something, I've been going to sleep. I haven't this week too much work, but next time I'll be headed there. Cool, cool, cool. I need to do some collab soon. Um, welcome back. Um, but I feel like I'm just struggling to keep my head above water right now. Not in like a... Mm. I'm not having a bad time, right? Like, and all things considered, I have a good life. Uh -oh. I'm just a little tired. <laughs> I would have yesterday, but the daughter asked if I played Black Ops 4 Zombies and we ended up playing for a Oh, that's so cute! I'm so glad you were able to do that, though. I've been apparently seeing my word balance for each stream. Ha ha ha. Ooh! Ooh, clever! Someone's- I might have, uh, might have set a limit on that. Ooh, okay, new hat. Let's go. I'm gonna have to pull some more hats out. I was thinking about moving them out of the bedroom into uh, the office, so I have more hat options. Because I gotta... Decent amount of hats. I know Herba Bueno tea helps relieve pain, relieves nasal congestion, and treat digestive problems such as irritable bowel syndrome. Ooh, I'm gonna have to look that up. I know some people who have some angry bowels. Oh, hey, an eye matcher. Oh, with my hat, with my blue eyes that y'all can't see right now because I'm using this camera's low quality. Let's see if I can... This is going to be hard. Oh no, that's not happening. Maybe, 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 nope. No, we're not. <laughs> I was like trying to like creep in without having to disturb my stuff, but I'd probably have to go on like phone camera mode. So y'all can stare deeply into my eyes like weirdos. Every vote guards best. I don't think that's a. I don't think that's a competition. I don't know if I'd win it. Probably someone wearing like contacts would win that. Or someone with like a unique eye feature. 
My inner just really blue. Mmm. Ah, oh, this tea's good. White tea feels like it's good for flavor and enjoyment. Wulong, to me, feels like it's good for the soul. Alright, so we're gonna cut off the hand. I just put the kettle back on the wall. I did not hit start. I need to get like an extension cord for the kettle. Have I ever cosplayed? I have cosplayed. I just don't do it very often. Uh, it gives me a very specific cosplay idea. I'm here. What? Tell me of your cosplay idea. Someone who really isn't wearing anything but they voted for her eyes because they asked. <laughs> yeah, that would work. Any of those, like, what do they call them? I want to, they're not, they're like boob streamers or whatever. I mean, good on them for getting that hustle, right? Like, I don't think I would ever be brave enough to do that. But. Improve. Yeah, that's illegal. I've heard about that, though. I've seen, like, videos about it. Wait, what? Oh, um, well, we were talking about, um, voting me for, um, best eyes on Twitch or whatever, because my eyes are super blue. Um, and I said I wasn't gonna win it, and then Salty mentioned that, um, that, like, one of the people who show off their, their, physical attributes more would probably win it, and I'd be like, yeah, that's fair. Um, uh, let's see, that hat would be Pete Carmen San Diego vacationing in Tampa vibes. Dude, I feel it. I feel it. I'd be like, where is Carmen San Diego in Tampa on vacation? You get like, like a, like one of those bathing suit covers that don't really cover shit that are like long and that have like the same sort of like profile as like a her jacket thing that she wears. Be pretty cool. Hey, go where that I always say respect the front grind. Yep. My dad says it's good to eat cocaine leaves. Well, there's so many other different conversations going going on in this <laughs> one chat. <laughs> Your sleep says, uh, demons say it's delicious. <laughs> um, we're, we're Carmen San Diego, uh, different cultures using the cocoa plant or coca for things. And <laughs> we are, we are having a, having a time. Your dad and I need a party. That just That's where the run random drug testing at work will get you. I've got to head off now to get ready for streaming. Oh, thanks. Well, Jimmy, I appreciate you stopping by. Um, so behave, y'all. Mainly Gertie. Oh, I behave. For now. Wait until um, come into your chat and give you a couple word bands or something. It'd be fun. 
Um, if y'all don't follow Jimmy Patty, go ahead and follow him. He's going to be streaming probably Jackbox. Super fun. Good dude. Um, headed off to my Jimmy stream. You turn off word Ah, that's no fun. Oh, to go my Jimmy stream. That's so nice. I'm so glad y'all we got some. You know, we've had a lot of good time hanging out today. Ah, this D hits the spot. Always nice in a gertie hurdy world. Aww. Yep, always nice when we talk about cocaine and hookers. Uh, what? Um... Anyways. So... I'm thinking about doing, like, maybe some more automation or interactions with you guys like like setting up like some sort of chat alerts or something i don't know what i want to do have y'all seen anything interesting in other people's uh twitch streams i know i'm already gonna have to fiddle with mine if that's what we're doing i definitely feel a collab in the mix uh sir <laughs> W Y M by that. What do you mean by that? So like, um, I don't know. Like, Shoopy's got a really cool system where you can earn like star points randomly, and you get like these little little stuff or um, like different sound alerts actually show stuff on screen. Um, Stuff like that. There's a game you can- that can- Ooh, fishing is fun. I like fishing. You can do some fishing. Oh, I forgot how tiny, like, little hand claws are to cut out. My tiny claws. Got a big head and tiny arms. Y'all get to look at this hat while I'm cutting this out because I have to, like, squint. You have these tiny ass triangles. Be switched to Firebot. I'll have to check out Firebot. I use Streamer Bot, but um, my automation stuff just broke anyways. <laughs> Firebot, the all-in-one Twitch bot. Ooh, it's got like a dashboard with chat too. This actually looks more user-friendly. And streamer bot. Streamer bot is really flexible because you can build, I think, C code or something with it. It's called Lurk Bait Twitch Fishing on Stream. I'll check that out. Let's see, Lurk Bait. Lurk Bait. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Oh, it's a Steam game. It's on Steam. Oh no, it's cute! Oh my gosh! Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna show everyone how cute this is. Um... I have too many tabs open right now. Um... 
Like OBS bots, and that's what Shoopy uses too. Okay, cool, cool. I thought it was free, but it isn't. Sorry. Uh, some of it looks free. It's open source, so I can probably just use open source part of it, maybe? It's okay. This is only $7 anyways. Um, so hold on, full screen. Okay, so this is an open source. But, oh, um, Firebot is open source. This is $7, but if I use this regularly, look how cute this is though. Like you get little pop-ups. This guy's like staring at it. It's so cute. It gives me, it's like Animal Crossing sort of vibes. No, no, they're definitely going for Animal Crossing, actually. Look at that. That's very Animal Crossing. Um. Yeah, okay. Yep, yep, yep. Sold. I'll try that out. That sounds really interesting. It looks cute. And then I'm already downloading... Firebot. Super cool. Good recommendations. I appreciate y'all's feedback. Oh, I thought with the title lurk bait, it would be fishing for other chat members somehow, like a PvP fishing game. That, that would be funny. Dude, I wonder if there's... I mean, we played marbles in stream yesterday. That's kind of PvP. Alright, it looks like I've got a couple more steeps with this tea left. I love oolong, but it's probably one of the, the fastest teas to burn through. Maybe that's one of the reasons why I like oolong so much. Because you go through the, the tea journey pretty fast, too. Ooh, I had a little burp and it tasted like the candy that we just had, and it was good. I'm so sorry for y'all having that information now. What would you say the longest lasting one? Ooh, okay, so part of the lasting would definitely be how it is compressed. So I would probably say one of the, like, if you can get a tea coin or a tea ball... Those are going to last you the longest. Um, don't take that out of context. I mean, I can. Um, yeah, I thought about doing that. And you know what? We, we do have space right here for that, too. Because I've got this a good amount of real estate that... Um, it's cute, but it doesn't really do anything. So maybe we'll do it some avatars. Um, what do I think? I think like a like a shoe pour is probably gonna last pretty long. Or shing pure, the the not not um. Fermented tea. Those last a pretty good amount of time, in my opinion. I hear if you do green tea grandpa style, it lasts for a good amount of time too. But I, I think definitely like getting a tea ball, or like there's a couple of them where they make, they put tea in uh, tangerines. And persimmons 
like as a seasonal thing, seasonal thing, it's probably going to be your longest lasting. Because you, the water doesn't get to it as fast. But you still have a lot of rich flavor. Rufflet, is that a bird? I feel like that's a bird. Um, I think that might be a dog. Like a rough. No, they're not. Um, I updated streamer bot and it broke. I am I am perturbed. No, it is a bird. You were right. Yeah, after the after I'm done, I'm gonna fix that. Yep, uh, Ruff, what's a bird? Here, I'll show you. This guy transforms into an eagle. He's like the freedom Pokemon. Kaka. Yeah, so it's stuck as P uh, Pichu, which happened yesterday. I updated today, but it won't like switch off of it. I know, they don't sound like that. E uh, bald eagles sound really weird. I know that they phone in... I heard they uh, replace all of bald eagle noises with, like, a specific hawk. And bald eagles sound, like, stupid squeaky. Alright, well, you guys, I think we're gonna wrap it up. We've had a good three hours today hanging out, and, um, I have to go get, um, my meals for the week. And clean up my delicious tea mess, as always. I appreciate everyone. Hold the line. Uh, get your raid emotes out. We got some, some raid emotes and Gertie Mania, and if you want to use some other emotes, you can. Like promotion spider, which I always think is super cute. Um, this is always fun. Thank you for joining us. Um, have a nice day. See you if you're on Jimmy's. I will try to be. I'll, I'll. I normally just say hi. I don't have the attention span to stick around super long. <laughs> um, but I will definitely make an effort to be over there. So let me see who. Um, we are gonna ride out to. Uh... Let's see. I've got I've added someone named Rika the Kitty, and they only have two people watching them. So let's give them a raid. They'll probably appreciate it. Uh, looks like they're a VTuber. And they're playing Darksiders too, so of course, definitely di different vibe. At least I get to stick around. Yeah, right? Alright. <laughs> I mean, I'm happy. We've got- we did a good stream today. We had a lot done, and I am not super tired, which is surprising, because I normally am. Alright, so I hope you'll have a fantastic rest of y'all Sunday, and I'll see y'all next week some for, for some video games. Maybe some Minecraft, or if I could talk someone else into it playing some Dota with me. Um, have a good one. Oh, and check me out on Discord. Be a good time. <laughs>